guys, it's Lauren. I just rolled out of bed and in an hour and a half, it is my goal to look like a baddie. Wow. Um, we have a ways to go today, but I always take on fun projects like this and turn it into something beautiful. So the other night I went to a party and I met Landon Romero. Here are some of his videos. Car for sale, car for sale. Look, good credit, bad credit, funky credit, diarrhea credit. We don't give a Let's get a chilies. Hurry, I got insurance now. Get in. Ever since I saw his videos on Twitter, I thought he was literally like the most hilarious person ever. And I knew we should be friends. Like we're destined to be friends. Like we're going to get along. He's going to be great. So I went to a party the other night and I met him and we became friends just like that. It was great. Um, I told him that I watched his videos and that I loved them. And he told me that he watched my videos and it was love at first sight. We were hanging out all night and he let me know that it was going to be his birthday soon. And he's going to have a party at like a club for his birthday. Um, so that is where I am going tonight. I'm going to one of the most popular clubs here in Los Angeles and I have to be there by 11 latest and it is now nine. Uh, so today we will be doing another transformation video. For those of you who enjoyed the AMA's transformation video, we are back at it again. Today I will be transforming from this to a baddie, to somebody who looks 21, and to somebody who is a bad But I have done this many times before, so I know that I will be able to come through and look super hot. Let's get it. So first things first is makeup, and then I'm gonna figure out what to wear. This is where I do my makeup. Some of the lights are out. It really be like that sometimes. Um, also, like, I'm so bad at keeping my makeup station clean. I just see so many videos of these girls and their makeup station is always, like, so clean and well-kept. But, like, when I do my makeup, especially in a rush, and I feel like every time I do my makeup, it's in a rush, I don't put in that extra step afterwards of, like, cleaning it off and getting it, you know, prepped and ready for the next time. I just kind of clean it, like, every once in a while when it gets literally so disgusting that it's distracting and embarrassing. So, I got that. I'm gonna clean my beauty blender, it's so gross. I don't even have like the right thing to clean it, but I use Johnson Johnson baby soap, and it does the trick. So right now I have no product in my hair, I haven't done anything today, I just like edited a video a little bit, and that was my Saturday. Um, so this is as messy as it gets. I just recently went lighter with my hair too, so it is even less healthy than usual, but it's not that bad. I see some blonde girls with hair that is you know a bit more fried but it's not where i want it to be i definitely plan on getting my hair way healthier i use a lot of hair masks and i use nice shampoos and i do take all the right steps in improving my hair but i take this one day at a time okay typically i wash my face before doing my makeup but i am in a rush and i already sat down and i don't feel like getting up this time so, Josie Marin makeup wipes. They're really good. And they smell nice. The biggest mistake that I always make when doing my makeup in a rush is being on my phone too much and letting time fly by. So it is my mission right now to do all of this without being on my phone the entire time. So let's get it. We do not have a lot of time today. This is really gross, but this is how I do it every time. I literally wipe off the same little spot on my white makeup table and put my foundation directly on the makeup table and then dab my beauty blender on it. It's not smart and it gets the table dirty and it's it's probably just gross, but you know, that's just what it is. I'm gonna use the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. It's just perfect. It makes my skin look literally perfect. So that is what we will be using today. I'm also gonna do the Glam Glow Sun Glow Moisturizer and this has like a nice tint in it, which you're about to see will literally take my skin from this pale, as f I'm not usually this pale. I am Latina, I am Colombian. I really have a beautiful tan on me at all times, but you know, we're approaching winter. I haven't been tanning, so I'm a very pale girl. But this moisturizer will add in like a glow that kind of looks natural, like underneath the skin. It's great. I used to sleep with this, like as a moisturizer, and then I got called out by Aiden who basically was saying like, that's basically like, 
sleeping in makeup. So for a night like tonight where I'm literally just gonna go celebrate my friend's birthday, I'm just not gonna take a lot of time like perfecting it. I know it's gonna be dark and I know I'm gonna put on huge eyelashes. So I feel like the makeup look really can't go wrong. And honestly, I think that makeup comes out better when you're in a rush. I, for some reason, feel like when I take way too much time on my makeup, it comes out tonky. And then when I do my makeup super rushed, it comes out just fine. So this is how I put my foundation on the table. I should definitely get that like silver platter that makeup artists use and they just put it like on the mirror, you know what I'm talking about? Um, but I just haven't gotten around to it. So this foundation is literally pain. Just change everything. I also wanna just like hang out with you guys right now. Um, my boyfriend is not with me, Aiden is out of town, I have no other friends, and no one to talk to, so hello, this is what you guys are for, hi, how are you doing, let me know down below. Wow, I just did that so fast. I might have put on way too much. Oh god, why does this look, oh god, this looks like a mask, okay. <laughs> it's fine, I'm fine, everything will be fine. So tonight I am putting myself out of my comfort zone a little and that's exciting to me. I don't typically do things like this. I literally met Landon one time, we had a great time and I had seen his videos before and like now I'm just going to his birthday party alone. I didn't want to be like, can I bring my boyfriend because he just met me and we're not like buddies like that. And it's also like bringing a guy into a club is also harder than just like bringing a girl. So I didn't want to ask, but I'm just going, like not bringing anyone with me. And that is scary. I'm a pretty social person. Like I can have a conversation I can be funny. I can, I can be fine. You know, I can make friends in the moment like that, but it is just scary. Cause like, what if I get there and everyone's kind of like already hanging out with like their designated person for the night or, you know, everybody kind of went there with someone or it's just scary, but I'm a big girl. <sighs> yeah, stressful thing. So what I'm putting on right now is a color corrector. I literally had this for so long and I never used it. And then I read it and was like, whoa, a color corrector. That sounds cool. This is what it looks like. It's by Hello Fab. And I really like it when I'm not wearing any makeup. Like sometimes I'll just do that tinted moisturizer and this color corrector and that's it. And it's literally no makeup technically. But what this does is it will cover your dark circles. Um, when I was younger, I was told that it's because of my allergies. I don't know how much of that is true. I feel like I just have dark circles, um, but that was the explanation that I was given. So that's what I will run with, I guess. Okay, great. Now we're gonna do concealer just like the rest of the world. I use Tarte Shape Tape. I don't even know if it's my shade when Tarte invited me to go to the AMAs with them. There was concealers and foundations and stuff like all over the room, like kind of as decoration. And I was like, oh, cute. And I kind of just took a bunch. And um, now I just have a ton of Tarte Shape Tape, which is great. Uh, I don't know if it's my shade though, cause it's not like I got color matched or anything. I kind of just grabbed it. Um, let's go. I always get scared when I put on Shape Tape. I don't know if I'm putting on too much or too little. I just don't get it because I see some videos on YouTube and these girls like glob that shit on. I don't know what the perfect amount of shape tape is. Like, is that good? I don't know. Also, I have a pimple. I never get pimples. I mean, I do, but. I don't typically get like huge ones. So I don't know who she is. Does anyone else have baby hairs that are super annoying? I just feel like mine are the longest baby hairs ever. And it just makes it so difficult when I'm doing like a quick pony or something because I have all of this just there, like all the time. I mean, I heard that it was good because when I start to age or whatever, it'll benefit me then because I'll have more like something, like it's just gonna be good, like I don't know. I heard it was good for when you get older if you have a lot of baby hairs. Um, but as of now, they truly just get in the way of everything. I remember one time I was at Nordstrom's and I was getting my eyebrows done and the girl was like, you should get it 
all threaded off all of her baby hair. She's like, the Kardashians do it. And in the moment I was like, oh, that sounds like a great idea. Like, yeah, I guess Kim Kardashian's hairline looks great. And I was like looking at pictures, I'm like, oh yeah, that does look great. And I was like, oh, maybe, maybe that's what I'll do. And then I think I told someone else that idea and they were like, what the f are you talking about? That's literally gonna ruin everything. So I think I'm just gonna vibe with the baby hairs. And that's that. All right, now I'm gonna do a lot of bronzer because again, I'm trying to look older tonight. So I have a baby face, always have, probably always will, but people always assume I'm way younger than I am. And um, tonight I'm trying to look 21. So the goal is to chisel as much as possible and hope for the best. I don't even know one person that's going tonight. I didn't ask him like, who'd you invite? There's just no one that asked me if I was going. I truly just don't know what I'm walking into and I'm scared and just like socially nervous. Um, but the girl that he was with the night that I met him was super cool. And she actually like responded to my story the other day. She was like cute or something. So I can talk to her. Hmm. But I've been to the place that I'm going to tonight a bunch of times and it's so fun. It's literally so fun, so cool. It's like a trendy place. It'll be good. Oh, actually the Fashion Nova party, like the party with Cardi thing was there the other night and I really wanted to go, but I was on set and we wrapped so late that by the time I got home, I would not have time to get ready and like go. Um, but that looked so fun. I've been using this brush recently to bronze. Um, it's just like a bit good. It's just like a big fluffy brush and I like it because it's just easy and fast and I'm rushing. So we're just gonna do this as fast as possible. Okay. Let's do eyebrows. Yo, I don't know how I feel about these um, like really thin eyebrow pencils. I think they kind of suck. Yeah, I'm gonna use a different one. I feel like the really thin ones are way too precise and then it just makes it really easy to tonk your eyebrows out. I feel like it's just such like a precise brush. And since I don't want to do this precisely per se, I'm just gonna go in with like a big thick one. Also, my boyfriend just texted me because he's hanging out with his friend right now that he hasn't seen in a long time. And I was like, how's it going? And he's like, hi baby, I love you, it's going great, I can't wait to tell you. And I have yet to inform him that I am going to the club tonight. <laughs> it's gonna be a weird discussion. Not because I'm like not allowed to do what I want or anything, but um, if I went to hang out with my friend and then got home and he was like, I'm at the club, I'd be like, oh, you wanna talk about it? Am I a bad girlfriend for this? No, no I'm not. Okay guys, hi, my makeup is on. I'm feeling good about this makeup. I did it rush and it looks great. Do you see what I mean about the, the eyelashes? How the eyeshadow doesn't really matter because you can barely see it through these long eyelashes. Okay, it is now, I'm stressing out by the way. It's now 10, 10, I have to be there at 11. Okay, I guess I have an okay amount of time. Makeup is done, let's worry about this hair now. Oh, I hate when my hair doesn't look healthy. I feel like it does not look healthy. Okay, what are we dealing with today? Okay, she's cute, she's coming out. She's starting to look like what she needs to look like for tonight. I'm gonna put some heat protection on it right now. First things first, and then I'm going to iron it. I really don't do anything crazy with my hair in times like this because I don't have the time and my hair straight and looks good because it's long and it's professionally colored and it's just, and it's just not gonna go wrong if I just straighten it and call it a day. Um, I'm so pressed for time, but I think I look 21, right? But I think I look good, I think I look, uh, clubby, I look like a club girl, wow. I will literally vomit. That was the grossest thing I've ever said. Um, but you know, I think we're getting there. After I have to pick up my outfit, I think I know what I wanna wear. And I'm excited to put it on. So let's get this hair.
My hair is so long that this is how I have to reach it. I have to literally bend over and go like this. It also just makes it so much faster. Okay, so I'm thinking this is as straight as it's gonna get. I'm gonna put some product in it so that it shines a little bit. I'm gonna be using a Caviar Infinity Hold Top Coat Shine Spray. I never know what the right amount is. Sometimes I feel like I make my hair look super greasy. Okay, hair and makeup are done. I think I killed it. I think everything looks great. All right, now it's time for me to pick out an outfit. So what you see behind me is one of my closets. I have two, but the one right behind me is more of like nighttime going out stuff. Let me show you these two new bodysuits I have. Fashion Nova sent me them. Um, obviously, if you've ever been on my Instagram account, you can tell that I work with Fashion Nova. So I picked these out, and I, when I picked them out on the website, I was like, thinking like there's no way I can wear these to something that's not a club, but I don't go to clubs, so I don't know when I will ever wear this. I think tonight might be the night, but I think it might be too much. You know, like it's not my birthday we're celebrating. So uh, honestly, what am I thinking? There's no goddamn way I'm gonna wear this when it's not my birthday. I feel like it's just like, why did you cover yourself in rhinestones? Um, so another one they sent me is this one. Let's try this on, this is outfit option number one. And it's just, it's super cool. I'm curious to see how it will look on me. Let's see. Okay, wow. I am so obsessed with this outfit. Fashion Nova just fucking gets it. Like they truly just get it. I think that outfit number one is gonna be what I go with. I look good. I put on these heels and I truly just am feeling myself. So here's my theory about looking 21. I think like showing the cleavage and showing the boobs and stuff is like not really that effective. I almost feel like this approach, like the conservative approach, like you can still see my shape. You could still see that, you know, I'm womanly, but I'm not like throwing it in your face. I honestly think it's more subtle and it's more believable. And I think I look 21 as fuck right now. I look good, I'm happy. I have fully transformed into my final club girl state. <laughs> Guys, I'm really kidding um, with the club jokes, but uh, tonight is one of those nights. Woo! So I'm basically just gonna cross my fingers Hope that I get in, but this is the final look. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you guys for supporting me. Click that little bell down below and subscribe so that you can get notified every time I post. I post a ton of videos and I put a lot of TLC into every video that I post. I love you guys, wish me the best of luck. Bye. Update, it's 11.34 p.m. I just got home. Yo, I got, I did not get in. Um, <laughs> I got there and like I got there before everyone else and I was just like already stressing outside and like yeah it was like I already it was just already full of like anxiety and like literally panic I don't know why really because like I knew I would be fine but I was just like stressing out and then like everyone gets there everyone's being super nice to me and then 